Hello, Candace. Oh, your audio is not Candace connected. Samuels, how are you? How are you? Can you hear me? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm good. What do you got for me? Um, to be honest with you, I would like your opinion on me for, you know, for just personal reference. Um, I'm 40 years old. Um, I can stand back and let you see me. I'm not a size two or four, but I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm fully grown. Um, I'm a single parent, but my son is 21. So what kind of advice would you give me on having to, on trying to get a high value man? Well, why do you want a high value man at how old are you 40? Yes. Why would you want a high value man at 40? I mean, why wouldn't I? Doesn't everyone want a high value man? I mean, I could take a Henry too. Mm, yeah. But like life, it's not it's want and get are two different things. Correct. So what kind of advice would you give me to acquire that? Well, like anything else, the kind of man, if you truly want a high value man, he wants something too. And are you what right. he wants? I would assume so. Okay. Uh, let's run through this. Okay. Most high value men want children. Correct. How old are you again? 40. Children are pretty much off the table. I mean, but if he has children... No, most high value men want children. I mean, really? they want their women to provide them children. I mean, I don't think I'm. I don't think I'm at the game as of, as of trying to have one. At one is one at best. I mean, at that, one, that, one at one best is, because most OBGYNs don't prefer women to have children past age forty-two. Correct. So, if you if a man wants multiple children, you can't give him that. That's the well, incentive most men that's the, most men's incentive to marry is for children. Okay, so we can scratch that off the list. I mean, does that still does that still put me out the running because I can't give him multiple children? Yes. If that's what he wants, you can't give it to him. <laughs> okay, so why so why are you telling me I'm gonna die alone too? Mm, if you want if you are holding out for a high value man, yeah. Okay, what does that say? I'm not holding out for a high value man. Let's say I, I'm I'm in the market for a Henry. Why do you need a high earner? Why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I deserve a high earner? Mr. Okay, Samuel? how tall are you? Five foot seven. Um, where would you rank yourself on a scale from zero to ten, or one to ten? Um, you can't use seven. Just your face. Oh Natural, just your face, right out of the shower, no makeup, your hair. Where would you rank yourself? A strong five. Okay. Strong, strong five. Okay, so that would make you average. Correct. All right, so an average woman, and what would you say your level of fitness is? Average, above average, or below? Average. Uh, no. No. Why would you say no, Mr. Samuels? <laughs> Why would you say no, Mr. Samuels? No, well, first off, you don't you can't walk away from my show. That's not what we do. No, I know that. Well, I'm at work, so I, I have to multitask. Well, you need to you need to you need to respect my show. I'm respecting your show. I no, you're not. You put you're putting on lipstick. I'm not here to I'm not here to clown. You know, the reason a woman like you can't get nothing is because you ain't worth nothing. Look at this fool. Look at this fool. This is your mother. You're, you're somebody's mother? Look at this fool. Now, notice the, oh, the, the woman who called before. No matter what her appearance is, I still approach her as a professional. But what did one thing that Miss Laura give me that... Uh, that this woman didn't. The respect of being a, running something. This is a modern woman. This is it. This is it. So I get people get mad at me talking about how I do black women. No, black women like her do it to themselves. Arguing about bonnets. 
walking off on cameras, acting like, I mean, why don't you just take your shoes off and just kick your feet up? There's no shame. In, I, I, I really feel black women, where's your shame? Where's your pride? And she's really sitting there looking like, like she don't understand what I'm talking about. You, you're muted. You're muted. I can't hear you. I'm not muted. I can hear you. Oh, now, I'm, but, but the point is, ma'am, you ask me some questions that I'm trying to answer and be respectful. And you can at least respect what I'm trying to do. You walked off laughed and then you came back in putting lipstick on like you at Miss Laura's kitchen or something. Right. Right, and you wonder why you can't get a high value man. You ma'am, what what I'm going to be all right. But you on here do you think you're making a good showing for yourself or you just don't give a damn? I mean, if we're going by your standards or mine. Well, your are your are you meeting up to your standard? Is this your standard? I, yeah. Oh, okay. I don't have. I'm not speaking broken English. I don't have an attitude. I'm not trying to go back and forth with you. No, you, well, no, no. You, you're not going back and forth with me, man. But it was being rude to walk away. Well, I, I, I okay. So, weird. put a part. Let's put a period and move forward, ma'am. Why? When was the last time you had a relationship? Uh, a couple of years ago. How long did it last? Two and a half years. Why didn't you guys go? Why didn't you guys get married? Because we weren't on the same page financially or mentally. We didn't want the same things out of life. But you guys were in a committed relationship for two years. Mm-hmm. And we decided to mutually part ways because we weren't seeing eye to eye on certain things. So what do you want from? So you keep asking about Henrys and all the other kind of stuff. Men who make men want something for their money. Well, that sounds like a solicitation of prostitution. See, this is what I'm saying. It doesn't matter. No matter how you try, I'm trying to sit back and have a reasonable conversation. I just got, I just told you what it sounded like. To yeah, you sound like a fool. Hey. Happy how Wednesday. I'm great. How are you? Good. How old are you? 28. All right. So what do you got for me? Okay. My question is, um, do you think there's a such thing as a modern man? Yes. Ooh. Okay. And do you feel like in today's dating world that plays a big part is more modern men than there is um i guess high value men you know, those two things are mutually exclusive but the problem is the problem isn't the men if they're more modern men or high value men the problem is women aren't getting married do you think that's because it's uh it's because overflow because, in modern men no it's because modern women aren't suitable for marriage mm -hmm. the men aren't complaining about See, we keep wanting to focus on the men. The men have been focused on forever. Why do we have so many women today who can't seem to keep a man? Modern, high value, or otherwise? How come your grandmother, your great grandmother, could have a fourth grade education, but could get a 50 year marriage and have six kids? But we got women today with PhDs. I'm a PhD. BMWs who can't keep a man for longer than six months. Hello? You muted yourself? Unmute yourself. Unmute yourself. Go ahead and unmute. So why? why? Okay, it wasn't letting me. Okay. So you're 28. Do you want to be married? Yes. Um, you have any children? Yes, one. How old? She's one. She's one. And how long were you and her father together? How long were y'all together? Uh, uh, on and off 
for a few years, but um, and why did you guys get married? Of course, when I got pregnant, yeah, when I got pregnant, we was not together. We got together when I was pregnant. That makes sense. No, it doesn't. It doesn't make sense that if you're not married to a man, you would you have a child. Yeah. Um. Well, before I didn't have a. I didn't value marriage. I guess I didn't value myself that much as I do now. So mm -hmm. um, I wasn't thinking, I didn't have a lot of married people around me to even have the thoughts to even care about marriage before a baby, um, to even do self-work on myself, to even know that uh, why give a man a baby before marriage. Uh, so we, we asked the question about modern men versus high value men and the issue with men. That's usually a leading question to me. I'm asking you, as a woman who wants to be married, are you fit for marriage today? Absolutely not. All right. So you answer the question I just answered. It's not a the issue today is not the men. It's that the women today are not fit or suitable. Doesn't mean you're not nice people. It's just that how are you gonna get married and have a family with women who are not suitable? For wives who can't stay in a relationship. I mean, mm -hmm. take you out, take you out of it. You do you realize it's not uncommon for women to be pregnant longer than, than they're with their child's father? Mm -hmm. Nine months to, to carry a child. It is not uncommon for women to be with pregnant longer than they were the father. And then how do you how do you, how do you turn that into a wife? So yes, there are modern men. Modern men today are not the same men as our our, father, our grandfathers and our great grandfathers. But for the most part, men still do the same things we've always done. The world is running because men are still building and making it work. The issue is more. If you got the point. In a 50 plus percent divorce rate, 80 percent of the divorces are filed by women. Women cannot seem to keep a man or stay in a relationship. And how as a man do you make that work if women choose to leave? But um, I hope you I hope you uh, are doing the work you need to do. Thank you. All right. Have a good day. Uh, how old are you? 31. All right. So what's the question? So you talked about rating women. Uh, rating I, women? Yes. You've, you've, you've done shows where you rate women. Yes. Right. So I just wanted to figure out what I was. Mm, uh, tonight's about questions, about things I discuss. I'm not doing ratings tonight. Those are specialized shows because most women want to know that. But... What do you rate yourself? Mm, say a six or seven. How tall are you? I am five, six. Dress size? Dress size, like 10. How much did you weigh the last time you weighed yourself? 200. Do you want to be married? Maybe. Do you have any children? No. Then why do you care where you rank if you don't want to be married? I said maybe. Why do you care? What do you mean why do I care? Because I, I may want to get married at some point. You're how old? 30 what? 30. Just 30. 30? Mm -hmm. Don't know if you want to be married or not. No kids. Five, six, 200 pounds. Why does it matter? Because I might want to get married. It depends on the person. No, that's not it. What do you mean? So, what do so you just mean? just simplify things. Let's say yes. No, you don't want to be married. So what's the point? If you don't want to be somebody's wife, then what... 
What do you want? No, that, that, that's why I said yes. To simplify things, yes. Well, but see, I think it's interesting that you ladies are more concerned about how you look for your own ego other than actually it's, being... It's not uh, for my ego. Other than, I, okay. A woman I've been who watching... Okay. I've been okay. watching no, the show. No, 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 no. Mm-hmm. I, I asked the specific, I asked my question in a very methodical way to see who I'm talking to. And at mm-hmm. the end of the day, you're not asking in furtherance of becoming a wife. So it's for a reason, your selfish reason. That's not a bad thing. So, so I'm, I'm telling you now, yes, I am. You S U M what? Yes, I am interested in becoming someone's wife. Then why not just be direct? So when I said maybe, I meant I am open to it. See, this is the problem with a lot of modern women. You're non-committal. Don't want to just put it out there. We spent two minutes going back and forth to come out with the fact that I would like to be married one day. Yeah. I'm not, I don't, I don't validate uh, people's ego. I answer, I, I give an evaluation. And if you're not really wanting to be somebody's wife, if this is just about you, that's fine. But to what end? I don't know. Um, And guys, that brings us to the end of today's video. Thanks for watching. More respect on the legend, the Godfather. May his soul rest in peace and may his name stay alive forever. Guys, continue to watch more of his content. He got great content on his platform. He has male self-improvement videos, videos that teaches you how to be the best version of yourself as a man. Videos that deal with these type of women, a woman that thinks that when she's looking for a man's resources, then it's fine but when a man is looking for something for what he has been able to achieve then it is called prostitution and he has dealt with this type of women pretty much very well and men that are looking for information to be able to navigate their way around females in this rough dairy market when women in general most women especially our black women in particular are not always looking for a fair deal always looking for ways to just you know have an unfair deal because a woman at her height and her weight talking of the first woman in particular saying she's looking for a high value man when she herself with all due respect is not a high value woman that's an unfair deal because let's keep it real a 40 year old lady even under normal circumstance why should anyone on this planet want to date a lady that is I mean, out of time. Why should you want to date a lady that is out of time? Because 40 year old lady is out of time. That's reality. Kids, most women at 40 cannot give birth. So you are out of time. But she's still looking for the top tier, top, you know, top one, top 20%, top 10%, top 5% of earners, which is crazy. And this is why she's single. There is no reason why this lady is single. The reason why she's single is the fact that she thinks that she's something else and she deserves something that she's not. And ending up being a single mom, 21-year-old kid, and also a 40-year-old all by herself. And that's sad. That's sad. But to me, I don't feel sorry for these type of women. And like Godfather was saying, had it been that she was talking to a guy that was a white man, she wouldn't have walked away from the show just like that because of respect that she probably would have had for that white man. But because he is black, I mean, they can just be kind of informal with black men just anyhow, and it's acceptable. And that's why when he insulted her, I was not, uh, just, it, it, it didn't bother me at all. Talking about the second lady, she also came in, tried to put a, push an agenda of modern men and modern women. You know, if we have modern women, then we will have modern men. And quite kind of, you know, makes sense. But 
when we are talking of relationship, if we are not having more relationship or marriages in society, it's all boiled down to female. That's just what it is. Women have to be able to keep men and be in a relationship. It's not our turn as men to be able to keep a relationship or something. We just come to you, we have sex with you, and we watch out what you have to offer. If you have something to offer, if you are someone that is a natural, if you are someone that is very polite, just treat people well, then, I mean, we keep you around. But most women are not just willing to be nice towards black men in particular. Black women towards black men in particular. They just don't want to be nice to us. Because you hear, I'm strong, independent, and just don't need no man, black men and shit and all those things. And those things are all derogative statements towards black men. And it tells you who the problem lies with. And it's black women. Let's keep it real. And guys, that brings us to the end of today's video. Thanks for watching. More respect on the legend, the godfather. May he so rest in peace and may his name stay alive forever. Guys, continue to watch more of his content. He has so much amazing content for you guys on his platform. Male self-improvement is available. So those of you who are looking for videos that is going to just give you a better way of just being the best version of yourself, he got you covered. And videos that teaches you how to navigate your way around females in general in the dating market, he got you covered. Women that are also looking for real results, I mean relationship and marriages, he got you covered. He brings you to reality so that you will understand that this is what I can get. Not trying to be a 40-year-old with a 21-year-old kid or, I mean, child and wanting a high volume. So he brings you to reality and makes you understand that this is what you can get in the dating market so you don't stay delusional and stay by yourself with some bunch of cats and dogs. So... You gotta be watching more of his content. Forget about what people have said about him. He's a great guy and he was a great person towards the black community and just humanity in general. Guys, stay focused. Remain focused on your goals. Do not just let anything distract you from who you are supposed to be. Work hard. Stay on your hustle. Stay on task until we meet in the next video. Peace. I'm out.